Slaves who do what pleases God. Don't let sin rule your body. After all, your body is bound to die, so don't obey its desires. Or let any part of it become a slave of evil. Give yourself to God as people who have been raised from death to life. Make every part of your body a slave that pleases God. Don't let sin keep ruling your lives. You are ruled by God's kindness and not by the law. What does all this mean? Does it mean we are free to sin because we are ruled by God's wonderful kindness and not by the law? <laughs> Certainly not. Don't you know that you are slaves of anyone you obey? You can be slaves of sin and die, or you can be obedient slaves of God and be acceptable to him. You used to be slaves of sin, but I thank God that with all your heart you obeyed the teaching you received from me. Now you are set free from sin and are slaves who please God. I am using these everyday examples because in some ways you are still weak. You used to let the different parts of your body be slaves of your evil thoughts, but now you must make every part of your body serve God so that you will belong completely to him. When you were slaves of sin, you didn't have to please God, but what good did you receive from all the things you did? All you have to show for them is your shame, and they lead to death. Now you have been set free from sin and you are God's slaves. This will make you holy and will lead you to eternal life. The reward for sin is death. But God's gift is eternal life given by Jesus Christ our Lord.